attacking wise, they're good. Um, you know, they've they've obviously got good strengths up there. You know, the people like Easy and, and Chair and uh, whatever centre forward they may play, they've got two very good ones. Um, so we know what they're about. We know what what way Mark Warburton's team wants to play. You know, being a Rangers fan, I, I watched a lot of his the way his uh, Rangers teams played over the years. Um, so it's. Uh, you know we, know, we know what we're up against, but we'll concentrate on ourselves. We're not where we want to be in the league, but, um, you know, I think, listen, result it's a results-based game, but our performances, apart from maybe Huddersfield, have, have been all pr pretty good. Um, we, we feel like we, we've deserved a few more, but that that's, as I say, that's football. Sometimes you don't get what you deserve, and... and we're desperate just to climb that league and get to where we want to be. Um, we've got now a, another good section of five games before the next international break and and we want to climb that table and go on a little run again. Yeah, obviously we're disappointed with that little run of six games unbeaten has come to an end, but now let's go on a, on a winning run and, and not just focus on being unbeaten. in header to Mosca. Can he turn the defender here? Parkin, he can. Marnie inside the box. Dean Marnie drills it in. It's there! It's, it's there for the time. It is Stuart Elliott who gets the goal inside the six-yard area. But what a great ball in from Dean Marnie. The Tigers are back on level terms and don't they deserve it? Needs a good delivery. The big men are all in there. QPR at sixes and sevens defensively. Control the defence and Elliot scores a vital goal. It's Hull City 2, QPR 1. It was a great corner from Dean Marnie. And what a header by Stuart Elliot, who is somewhere beneath both Tigers players.